Hi everyone, today I'm going to give you a quick demo about Pwncat's feature for unbreakable reverse shells. And we'll see in a minute what is actually meant by unbreakable. So for the sake of this example, I've set up this very basic PHP application, which is simply taking any value from the param and blindly executes it on the host system. For the work, let's start up our web server with PHP support. Validate that everything is up and running, or wait until everything is up and running. We have a 200 here. Then we'll hop over to our Kali machine, start a terminal. This will be hosting our local listener. Start the browser where we can actually initiate our reverse shell. Hop over to the project I've just created. and see the param in action. So that should actually give us some output here. And yes, we need to have an echo in front of it. Otherwise we won't be seeing anything. Let's do that again. Yes, we can actually now issue commands on the server. That works. So in order to exploit this, we'll enter the netcat commands into this param, which is using minus E to start bin sh on the server and then just connects back to the given IP address in the port, which happened to be the one of my Kali box. Let's paste this, paste this in. And before we actually issue that, we'll start a local listener with some verbosity. And we have a client connected. So the only actual problem with that is if you accidentally control C out of that, your reverse shell is gone. And in order to get it back, you have to issue the command on the web browser again, start your listener again. But it might also have taken you a couple of hours to get the reverse shell. And you want to make sure that you don't lose it easily. So for that reason, I've created the feature in Pwncat that can actually solve this issue. And it's done by the self-inject command, which will, once the reverse shell connects to you, self-inject itself back into the, uh, into the client, install itself there and start itself connecting back to you. This is defined by those three arguments that you give to it, CMD, instructs it to use whatever local um, shell you want to start, such as bin sh or bin bash. Then you have the host where to connect to and also the port. So let's give it a shot. We'll start Pwncat again. Listen on 4444. This time we'll use the self-inject command with bin sh. We want to connect to the Kali machine And the self-injected shell shall connect to the specified port. In this example, we can even use the same port as the listener, as the pwncat shell that will be started by that command is reconnecting back to you indefinitely. So even though if this port is taken, it will just continue and try all over again until that port is available. Let's see how that works in action. We'll start our reverse shell again and see a lot of output here. So what was going on? All this probing stuff was looking for available Python versions on the target system. Pwncat found a potential candidate in user bin Python, validated the version to 2.7.16 and then in those steps it just simply self-uploaded itself base64 encoded then decoded itself and in the final step it started itself in the background with a bunch of arguments which are exec as we specified the local command to be bin sh recon that simply means it reconnects back to you indefinitely recon waits give it one second between the reconnection attempts and this is where to connect to actually.
So, pound cat is done. We are also done here. We can now use this either as our shell or we can just simply control C out of here. Start plain listener on port 4444. Give it some verbosity and wait for the client. There it is. Client connected to us. Control C out of there. Client connected. Connected again. And we're coming out of there. It doesn't only work with pawn cats, we could also use just simple net cats, some verbosity, wait for the client, also works, we can do that again, client connected. So, the shell we just injected will always keep coming back to you, no matter what. And you can safely control C out of there, you can also start another pawn cat self inject instance and get more and more shells. If you want to see the project in action, hop over to my GitHub profile slash pwncat. There's a bunch of information. There's information about how to install it, deploy it on the targets. You know, just give it a like, fork it, the usual stuff. Thanks for tuning in and try it out. Let me know how that works for you or complain about any missing features. Thanks.